Hello everyone, Brad here. Um, just playing a bit of the toy box. And what I wanted to show you is these level packs that you can get. So what this is, um, you've got the standard Avengers uh, levels or Guardians of the Galaxy or Spider-Man levels which are more detailed. So these have actually been created in the toy box. Help! Somebody help! Uh, am I happy to see you? Quick backstory. As a Galactic Federation expert on Earth, true story, I was asked to give a presentation on your planet's winged inhabitants to the Grand Council, during which I may or may not have inadvertently implied that Earth's ducklings are a threat to all life in the entire galaxy. Earth stucklings are so cute! Trust me, if you saw one, you would literally die. And now the Federation's sending hundreds <laughs> of collection robots to gather ducklings for experimentation. Cute little defenseless ducklings! We've got to save them! Please! Everyone protect the ducklings! Welcome to the training room. If the item you're protecting takes too much damage, you'll lose. Earn rewards by delivering those who need your help to the safe zone. To save those who need your help, deliver them to this area. A directional indicator will predict the path of invading enemies. This is where you select the traps you'll use in the upcoming level. The number of traps you can select is limited, so be sure to choose wisely. Select the item. You have limited resources. Keep that in mind as you prepare your defenses. Okay, so it's kind of like a tower defense damage. game. Place the turret. Oh, can't place it there. The battle phase will begin when the countdown ends. Use a combination of your traps and combat skills to defeat the invading enemies. Oops. That went a bit wrong. So Stitch also has his guns. Nicely done. As you defeat enemies, you'll be rewarded. Your training is now complete. So there's this one which is... Um is normal Disney only. You can only use normal Disney figures on there. Also, a Merida one from Brave that you can use Disney characters on. Or there's the Marvel characters, which is the Battle of the Kiln, which is Guardians of the Galaxy, and Asgard, which is for Thor and different characters. So with this, they've actually used the Disney Infinity playset. Um, so in the background, you can never reach that, but it's just you can switch the backgrounds over. And this is just place blocks. Select the traps you'll use in this round. So we've got a snow cone brain freezer. And we've got the flying saucer shooter. Place 
place traps where they'll do the most damage. So let's see. Place that there. Place a brain freeze. I'll do another. I haven't got enough for both of them. Right. That brain freeze is going there. I'm going to put another one over here. Actually, I'll sell the Martian gun. Oh, looks like you have to sell all of them. Okay, so it's possible they'll come through there as well, I think. The last line of defences. Oh, they came in behind. Little duckling. Poor duckling. Oh, that's got enough energy. Nice. So that gives you a little countdown as well to collect the remaining coins. Do I think there's any more? Okay, I just put a little user disc underneath Stitch called User Control. It's a Tron one. It allows you to get more XP as you're playing. Let's try this over here. Got any resources left? I think another one back here will do. There they are. Let's make sure I get her in there. Oh no! Oh. 
surrounded by robots. I think I need another freeze ray over here. I definitely need some shooters now. Luckily I've put up some money. Here they come! I'm gonna go straight for this little guy. So those guns should take care of some of them for me. Oh, that one. Fuzzy camera angle there. Don't know what happened with that? Oh no, the ducks in the out of energy. So he's just leveled up. Okay, so we've still got more waves. A second gun there would be good. No, a gun near the duck. Protect it. It's only got a little bit left. The robots are coming! How many waves are in this? That's that taken care of. Hey Kaylee, how are you, big girl? 
and whoever else is watching. So this is in a toy box game first ditch. This is like a, a wave defense kind of game. So I'm going to sell some items. You can only do the last one you actually placed, which is annoying. So there's these brain freeze guns that uh, freeze the robots that you have to defend the duckling from. And also these turrets for shooting stuff. The turrets are actually kind of useful. Place a few here to protect the duck. One more there, I think. And we want two brain freezers near the actual guns. So put midway here. And another one over here. So the duck's only actually got a small amount of health left. First touch! Oh, Hannah! Oh, that was an awful stitch impression. There's some bots that actually fly as well. You have to watch out for them because they'll go straight to the duck lane. Hopefully the turrets have actually taken good care of those. Well, I've leveled up. On the mischievous, what's that do? Oh yeah, we want the extra arms. <laughs> did it when nothing was there. I think there is any coins. Another wave. Right, one more diff. One more gun, I think. Where shall I put it? Let's put it in the middle here. I hope you're ready, because here come the collection robots. Final wave. Hi, <laughs> right, Casey. Casey says, <laughs> Yeah, I've got my uh, YouTube open up on my laptop so I can see comments on there if you want to leave a comment. Those bots are making towards the duck. Let's get some coins. Oh no! That's right, you can go in water. The enemy has been defeated. Yeah, now, well, no. okay? New high score. Uh, Casey says next Disney Infinity Free. Um, just showing off some bits for two first. And A Bit Girl is watching via her PS4. So let's go back into normal toy box mode.
Let's go into Fishy's box. <laughs> Ooh, uh... Okay, so I'll start off with uh, Flyer. So you can fly around the box. Or my box. Fishy's box. Check out my box. Superhero, billionaire, and let's face it, an all-around amazing guy. That'd be me. So there we go. Bit flying around. Okay, first of all, there's this from Phineas and Ferb. That changes the racetrack. You've got all the different parts over there and the actual ground. So this just looks like a kind of pavement or standard racetrack. You've got a climbing frame and stuff and trees. Okay so next up is Frank and Weenie. This isn't the background this is just the racetrack and those bits again. So it's done like a stone cobble floor. Looks like stitch parts on there. And just kind of like gothic -y trees, I guess. And electric wiring. It also changes the mountains over there. So they're kind of just dark, you can see some detailing on there. Well, there's a drawing of a house. And that looks like Frank and Weenie's skull, or the dog. Okay, next up we've got a Star Lord. Again, that's just a racetrack, so that's kind of all metal y. It's got alien architecture. Oh, just whacked yeah. straight into that. So, yeah, pretty cool. If you just want to design some guardian levels, um, Next up, we've got. Let's give Iron Man Stitches gun. So, this is one of the items you can shoot it. You can give any character this. Um, you can give it to Stitch as well, but that's kind of useless because he has his own gun. Okay, we've got the Headless Horseman's horse. So, you know, breaking the horse's back with Iron Man riding on there. Okay, we've got... <laughs> the boomerang fish, Blue Zealands. You throw it, and it comes back again! Just look at that floppy fish action. And that sound it makes as well. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay. So we've got Mickey's car. If it appears, where is it? Let's try that again. Oh, it doesn't like that for some reason. Let's try a different one. Hmm. It might be actually landing on the on here. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Let's 
to run around the Pizza Planet vehicle. So there it is. Let's load up Mickey's car again, that'll work this time. So what do you all think? Leave a comment. Okay, we've got Cinderella's carriage. I feel like a right princess driving around in this. It still makes the no, sound of the horses as well. Even though there's no hill horses on front. Okay, let's show you some more different items. Yeah, we'll go with different uh, views. So I've got both for this one. This is Nightmare Before Christmas. So you've got the textured carpet there. <laughs> Wing, uh, Casey says, DuckTales, woo! Right, these trees don't change. But these ones have. You got the graveyards with the Christmas lights on. You got some of the stitch in there as well. You got a pumpkin on there. And in the background, you have Jack somewhere. I think so. Yeah, there he is. Or he would be there. So you got some blinking eyes as well. All the ghosts in Halloween Town. Pretty cool. A big girl says, like the Pizza Planet car, and woo, nightmare before Christmas. She actually put NBC. I was like, why is she talking about NBC, the American channel? But then I realized. Okay, so next up, we've got from Big Hero 6, we've got the little bag thing. Can't remember the character's name. Um, just lets you throw ice balls, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I picked up loads of these cheap at MCM this year. So next up, we have Stitch on a surfboard. There he is on the front. And you can also have Stitch riding with Stitch. <laughs> so there he is. Him riding with a little toy of himself. So let's try a different background. Go back to Iron Man. To show it off properly. Um, Iron Man here. Nice to meet you. Kaylee's already seen a picture of this. But this is Alice in Wonderland. This is both themes. I'll just take those off and they'll remain there. And there's two items from Alice in Wonderland as well. So you have the Caterpillar car. Let's just get back in there. So in the background you also have the different trees from Alice in Wonderland. In one of them you might see the Cheshire Cat and it's got the uh, the cat pillar smoke coming off there. See where the eyes are, if you can see them. Hey <laughs> big girl says she wants that car, it's a very cool car. Cheshire Cat doesn't seem to be appearing at the moment. 
So if I fly back down... Oh, I flew up pretty far. Oh yeah, you can see the maze underneath. You can't actually get in the maze though. So the actual racetrack is just different flowers. And then you've got a different plant when it's in Wonderland. You've got yonder, you've got up, you've got direction tree. There was a tea party part, where is it? Oh, there it is. You've got the teacups, the teapot, the long teapot. <laughs> a big girl says, Who are you? It's got another tree there, back there, this way. I'm actually like really impressed with how they've done the changes for the different themes. So yeah, you've got the uh, hearts and the spades as well with the painted roses. And if you notice on my back, I've got a flamingo. So I use that to hit people with. <laughs> I think he always pulls out the pink one. Yeah. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, next up, we've got another background change. It's one for Kaylee. Now you've seen the foreground of this already if you've been watching my videos. You just saw a sneak peek there. I don't want to show off yet, but there's Flynn. And yeah, there's all the paper lanterns. This just looks amazing. Especially with that uh, the sea underneath just reflecting everything. Looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's the full view. It's absolutely beautiful, this one. Just lanterns everywhere. Let's just fly back over there. So yeah, you've got a few in, few over there in silhouette, but like when you turn around, it's like, whoa! Got the castle in the background there, and that castle as well, which I nearly flew into. And Kaylee says, and at last I see the light. So the racetrack is something. Let's see what it is. I think it's just like a dirt road. Yeah. Okay, so a few more items to show you. Um, we've got Mike Wazowski's car. Hello there, my scary friend. It's been so long, I thought you forgot about me. But that's crazy, right? Ooh. I was detecting a different disc, that's all right. I think the cars appeared on the racetrack again. <laughs> so Mike Wazowski in his new car. So I actually picked up the uh, the Wii U starter set for the first game pretty cheaply. It was £10 on all other consoles, it's 18 So that's really good, really good. So it comes with a Sully as well. Hey there. <laughs> I knew you'd be back eventually. So you can have him driving Mikey's car as well. 
bit big for it though. Also, um, let's grab Thor. Where's Thor? This is his dad's horse. It has been many turns of the sun since our last encounter. Let the adventures and conquests begin. So it's got begin. eight legs. That's a pretty mean horse. It's an Iraq horse. So let's giddy up. Really, really nice. Let's take him off again. Uh, where's Iron Man gone? Hey there, champ. So, this is the last viewing item. So, yeah. Like you're inside Iron Man's helmet. So there's some readings for his uh, suit. You got a big kind of heads up display, the flight suit and stuff. You got a target locked over there. It's really, really nice, this one. And last item, she no, there's still some other items to show you. Oh, it's probably spawned down there, yeah. Good job I can fly. And now I can fly some more. With this Avengers Quinjet. So you can fly around in this. You got missiles to use as well. You got the Avengers logo on the back there. Pretty nice. Okay, so last two items. I've been saving this to last because I'm such a huge fan. A Darkwing Duck! See, I showed off the grappling gun already. So if you shoot that to the floor or to something, you can drag it. So that's a touch. You can move it around with that. Move towards it. But there's this freaking bike. I love it. It's so good. Really nice dark wind up bike. Oh. Let's just reset the level. Oh, that was the wrong one. So now it's the night sky. So I was trying to show this off last time, but I forgot that you have to actually push that button. See, if you see in the background, that's the river where it runs down at the beginning of the Disney f um, films. Eight big girl says nice. Um, let's just reset this so it's daytime. Right, there's, there's a few figures I've got as well. So there's Merida. Glad to see you weren't eaten by a bear. It's very nice to see you. So she's lovely and Scottish. Um There's a Captain Jack somewhere. This Captain Jack, Sully and Mr. Incredible came with the first one. Now, let us get started on our excursion. He's got his sword he can use. 
He's also got a nice pistol. Okay, so here's Mr. Incredible. Actually, I'll show you something else first. Um, what do you say we right, the other one I've got is Drax. Drax is here. May enemies tremble. Our time to rest is Drax is here. May enemies tremble. So he's a pretty cool character. Um, I've got all the guardians now. Right, so Mr. Incredible. What do you say we head out and find ourselves another adventure? So there he is in his red costume. But, um, I also had some credit at CEX to use um, from selling games and stuff. So um, I've been ordering these discs and other bits and you can actually give him a costume change so there he is in his classic blue and black that um, is from the beginning of the film before he got with uh, Elastigirl so that's pretty cool that's just um, a, a visible change there's nothing that actually changes with the character and what's nice is I actually ordered a spider buggy um, so like this a car that Spider-Man drives around in, but they sent me the wrong one. So they, instead of doing that, they sent me a Spider-Man symbiote costume. I'll just show you Gamora's. So time has passed since our last meeting. <coughs> you've been pulled into a black hole. I'll just show you the Spidey you one for friend. last because that's my favourite, and we'll end on that. So there's Gamora. Got a laser gun as well. And um, with her costume change, it makes her look like a, like she does in the actual comics. So she's got the green hair, really awesome white spacesuit. Okay, we've got Iron Fist. Hello, and thank you for joining me on this journey. And thanks to Ross for returning. selling this one to me. So he's pretty cool. But with his costume. Nice white and gold colour. Looks pretty awesome. So I've also got the Hulk. So he does a lot of destroying moves and stuff. That's his long range move, he does like a jump towards them. And with the costume, if you've ever ever read the comics, um, the first six he was actually grey. And they could never get right at the, uh, at the ink place. Well they would actually do the comic. So they made him green, but this is Grey Hulk, and he's appeared several times since for like various story reasons. Because one time he, for some reason, he went to Vegas and became a uh, a professional like bodyguard. That was a weird comic. Comics were weird. Okay, last one. You've all seen Spidey. There's a web swing up to the building. Tell me you're avoiding me. Let's play in the toy box. It's fun. They have toys in there. So he sticks to walls as well. Nice web crawling. Stitch can also do that, crawl up walls. So then this is the moment I've been waiting for. Black suit, Spider One, Geek Mash. You know how much I love this costume. Where I did the top uh, Spider-Man costumes. So it looks like he actually web swings from the top of his hand, which is what he did when he had the costume, which is a really, really nice animated change. He does such amazing poses in this.
And 8B Girl says Spidey, awesome. And it is awesome, I love this. So yeah, that's the toy box. Um, thanks for watching.